Well, apparently today is finally the day. Which day is that? Today is finally the day when I finish fixing the steering on this stupid boat. It was almost two years ago that the steering broke on Nine Lives when I was bringing it up after we purchased the boat. And I made some effort after implementing my MacGyver fix to start replacing the cables and I managed to replace the cable on the starboard side, the broken one. First thing I did was take this big nut off from the existing cable off of this threaded adapter that goes through the hull. And what I'm going to do is try turning this to run it out this way. Give myself a little bit of play. Turning this in and out adjusts where this points. Right? So it gives you some fine tuning. Uh, and that puts us about two and three quarters. So I'm going to mark that. We're going to call that our set point. Temporarily marked and temporarily marked. But that gives us a reference for where I think it should end up being located. And now to get this old cable out. This is probably a really bad idea. Or a really good idea. I may have to run this out just to get myself some slack. So, good thing I made my set points. This is really just so I have more room in here. Well, now. On this boat, the helm is located on the port side. So the helm is located on the opposite side of this, on the port side, which puts it over here, behind my breaker panel, and this mess, which believe it or not, I cleaned up a little bit. It was all actually worse than this before. So those are the two steering cables coming up from the floor. You can only wonder how many people have had an influence over the time on creating this monstrosity. But that's what it is back here at the moment. And there's the helm. A dual cable rotary cable helm. And this is kind of a unique arrangement on this boat. Usually if you're using a dual cable helm it's because you're steering two motors with it. Or one motor and you have it set up redundantly for safety's sake. Which would mean that both cables would normally enter on the same side. That's not the case on this boat. These cables actually steer opposite of each other. So you have one cable going in one side and one cable going in the other side, which makes installation of the cables a bit tricky. Uh, there's the rotary cable towards the front. And if I just pull this dust cover off, there is the rotary cable towards the rear. attached to this rope. I'm going to drag the rope through the boat with the cable. So that later I could drag the new cable through the boat with the rope. Genius! Make sure it doesn't get hung up on anything. Pull it out this way so then I can do a straight shot towards the back of the pool. Keeping an eye on that there. long cable. It is the long cable. I know that for a fact. 
still haven't found an area that looks broken. I was expecting to find a section that was split. Look at that. There's my rope. Okay, I got a 13 foot cable and a 17 foot cable. And this boat, starboard side cable, is the long one. And the port side cable is the short one. Why? Because my helm is on the port side. Most other Geminis, the majority of them are reversed. So the cables are on opposite sides because the helm is on the starboard side. This is the 17 footer. It's marked on the box, obviously, but it's also marked here and also on the cable itself. So it's really hard to screw this up. You'll remember that we threaded a rope through the path that the cable runs through. And we're gonna use that to help guide it along. Probably do a little cable pushing and a little cable pulling. So, a couple things. I want to take this little sheath here and just make sure that it stays with the cable. Uh, so I'm just gonna use some Gorilla Tape and I'm gonna tape that up so that the sheath doesn't slide away protecting our nice cable. The other thing I'm going to do is attach this cheapo rope and then I'm going to Gorilla Tape. Put a little more tape on there. Better safe than sorry. shouldn't be pulling on this too hard anyway. It's really just hopefully to guide it past anything that it might snag on. At least that's the idea. Get started. Let's get this started. Push it all in as much as I can. A little bit anyway. Why don't you come with me on the inside of the boat? Here's my rope. Pulling up the slack. And I'm pulling on the cable a little bit here. And I think what I'll do is I'll push the cable a few feet. And I'll come back and I'll tighten this up and make sure it's guiding in the right direction. There we go. Stuck on a little something, but we got it past whatever that was. All right, let me go pull up my slack. Look at that. There's my protective tube. So what I'm going to do is pull this all the way into the boat this way, and once it's in the proper location, I'll bend it back around and then have it go that way towards the port side where the helm is. I think we hit the nut. Yes, indeed we did. We are up against the nut. If I just pull that out to where it belongs, what I want to do is feed it into this tube, and then the nut threads onto here. But anyway, this is good. There we go. And down in here, I have a cable coming all the way through from underneath the refrigerator. And uh, those of you with newer Geminis with the helm on the starboard side, you generally have to remove the refrigerator just to get to the back of the helm. I feel sorry for you. Anyway, I have to take this, loop it back around to follow the path of that rope. That rope winds down, goes that way, and then comes out here underneath the refrigerator. So I need to take up the slack of that rope first. Yep. Working its way through here. There's a lot of wires and stuff going down there, so I gotta be a little careful that I don't snag something, which is partly why I decided this method with the rope is pretty smart, because it's already clearing a path in a linear fashion. Linear-ish. And I should be able to drag the cable down without getting stuck in anything. At least that was my thinking. Okay, I'm getting a little closer here. Alright, pull the end that is attached to the cable. So let me go loop that around and get ready for the next pull. Okay, the rope is all the way through. 
at least all the slack's taken out. And uh, you can see when I tug on it, I'm starting to move the cable. I kind of feel like a snake charmer. Come to me, snake. Gosh, that's weird. See that tape? It means I've already got the taped end of this cable through. So, not too much further to go. I think I'm gonna pull all this slack out and we're gonna guide the cable up basically through that hole. Probably don't even need the rope anymore at this point. But hey, it's been good to us so far, right? Doink, 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 doink. Okay, we're here. Let me go give that a little push. See, it's coiled up here. Let me see. Just push it in a little and yeah. pull it up a little. It's a little tight, but I'm gonna get it. Just gonna have to basically get it to make that full 90 degree turn under the refrigerator. That really wasn't so bad. Okay, there it is, up to about the right height. Ultimately, it'll get uh, installed in this back loop, if you will, through the helm. I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow morning to do this because I'm losing daylight and I don't have any power right now on the boat. But I haven't yet managed to make the time to actually replace the cable on the port side and to actually connect everything together. So let's try to get that done today. Anyway, this needs to go back in. This needs to come out. Okay, on this side, where we left off, with this mess, this is the new cable for the starboard side. This is the cable we were just screwing with on the port side that's still connected. So I need to take this apart, take this cable out, and then, uh, then we'll proceed. nut on the back side of this you don't want to lose. It probably won't fall out, but it pays to hold on to it just to be sure with your finger. about positioning on this stuff since I'm taking it all out but probably should make sure I don't actually lose all the pieces <laughs> okay so here's the old port cable just kind of sitting in there I need to now attach a rope to that and I'm going to pull it back out of the boat to the rear so that I can pull the rope all the way through and then the rope I will use to pull the new cable all the way forward back up to here. Easy. Got my rope, garbage Home Depot rope, Gorilla tape. ready to pull this thing. Okay, this cable goes down and it makes a hard 90 degree angle pretty much going that way. And 
down here in his back cabin. It pretty much runs all along through that area. There's a small channel underneath that carpeting out the back into the lazarette. cable. I'm just going to position this now appropriately through the hull and then uh, probably do the other side as well and then we'll work on connecting the leading edge. First thing, take this and the end of this. I'm just going to very lightly thread this on here just so we don't lose the end of it. Somewhere around there. Go ahead now and actually tighten this. Give it a wrench. Oh, yep, that's it. All right. So that's pretty well in there. Oops, over here. I had already positioned these, but never tighten this up. So the starboard cable, port cable. And the port cable still has tape all over it. So I gotta pull that off. Okay, so when I took this cover plate off before, I really didn't need to do that. So let me put that back on briefly, temporarily, and I'll tell you why. I'm just gonna line up these pins, right, with the gears. Make sure 
sure it slides on there properly. Okay, and I'm gonna put maybe two of these screws back in just to hold it in place properly. Okay, now, the reason I wanna start with a empty helm. In the case of the Gemini, because you have two cables coming out the back, both inboard of the rudder they're controlling, you actually need to put the cables in so that they oppose each other, which makes it a little bit tricky to get the cables in and lined properly so that when the steering wheel is centered, both rudders are pretty much in their center position. Because as you're turning one direction, one cable is elongating in the back and the other one is shortening, right? So you need to put them in so they're opposed and there's a little bit of a trick to getting that to actually line up properly. First thing we have to do is take the starboard cable and that's gonna go up into this back hole here. And it's gonna go up and around the gears and it's gonna come out this fitting here. And we want to feed this in all the way, as far as it will go. Without bending it too much. Let's try to feed this cable up into there. And we're going to turn the steering wheel. Just suck that in. We should see it pop out this hole fairly soon. There she goes. Now I see the cable end's gonna get sucked in here and should ultimately, the groove should align. Now, we we'll very carefully take this plate off and not rotate it because we want to know the position of the gear with this all the way wound in. Pull that straight off. Okay. That, we need to know the alignment. All right, I can tell this has already been done before, but, all right, see this little mark here? All right, what we want to do is mark the position of this gear relative to the outside body somewhere, okay? It's already have a mark there, I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna say, this is the original location of the gear. All right. Now, I wanna measure an inch and an eighth to the right from this perspective on the gear face. Measure an inch and an eighth. So I'm gonna start at the one inch mark just so I can see the ticks. Inch and an eighth to the right. There's the mark, inch and eighth. Okay. It looks to be here, two, one. Okay, now I'm going to rotate this to align that second mark with the first mark we made on the case. And now we're going to insert this other cable into the face gear with it now starting at this orientation. And the whole idea is once that's inserted all the way, these pins should line up appropriately with this. Okay, here's the first original mark. Here's the second mark that we made that we called number two. I instead went this way. Here's another inch and an eighth the other direction. We'll call that three. <laughs> and here's the mark on the case. So instead of going from here to here, we're gonna go from here to here. And hopefully that'll give us the alignment that we're actually looking for. Back to this part, right? We have one cable fed in all the way, okay? Now, take one of these bolts and I'll put it back in here and that should align with the groove in the cable here. And make sure you don't push your nut out on the back side there. All right, I just wanna put that in tight enough so that this cable can't back out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reach around to the other side of this helm, the steering wheel, and I'm gonna back this cable all the way out. as far as it'll go, right? It stops there. Now that should have, on the other end of this cable, the solid arm should be pushed all the way out as far as it will go. Now we can go verify that. All right, see that cable sticking all the way out? And this is the one that we haven't done anything with yet. Stubby. All right, moment of truth. With this cable backed all the way out, well, first I should take this out. Remember the cute little games we played with this, right? Rotating it an inch and an eighth here. Get 
down there. <clears throat> Little bastard. <clears throat> and it gets harder and harder. That's as far in as it'll go. And wouldn't you know, this thing flipped around. It's just off center at the top, and that's just off center the other way. So this cable is backed all the way out. This cable is all the way in. It should, in theory, line up. Oh, it goes right on. Okay. Now remember these bolts, they retain the groove that's in the end of the cable. They also retain these dust covers. But anyway, putting this in will retain the cable and the dust cover. And remember, you don't want to knock that nut out the back. This one, I'm going to pop on here. So you can see what's happening. Pull this cover off so you can see this cable and then the other one's back there. You'll see. What I do is now turn the steering wheel until I see both of these at the same length. And that should be approximately centered steering. So obviously this tape mark is the old centering. New centering should be right around there, I guess. If we look back here, that one's sticking out. That one's sticking out. They're about the same amount. Now I can reconnect the cable end to the uh, cassette steering arm. Take the MacGyver arm off. Oh, screwdriver. All right, the only thing that I really have to do still is adjust the position of these cassettes. And I would do that by turning this in and out a little bit just to make sure it's actually centered. I would say it looks awfully close for now. So I'm not gonna make that adjustment just yet. This side looks a little off. I'd probably turn this side in a little bit, but again, it's awfully close. Okay, we're gonna call this the new center. If I turn all the way to port. Rudder cassettes, bottom out there and there. I turn all the way to starboard. Bottoms out there. Well, that's finally done. On to the next thing.